Hey guys. Sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> hey guys. Guess what I bought? New Lush things just came! Valentine's Day Lush stuff! I'm so excited. I love Valentine's Day Lush things. Granted, I love every sort of limited edition Lush thing. This is the first time... Well, actually, last year I had left right when Valentine's Day stuff came out, so... I get to experience it as just like a customer this year. I'm so excited! So I figured I'd do a little haul of sorts because y'all love that shit. So I'll start with just a few things that I bought that aren't Valentine's Day stuff, quickly. Um, I restocked on my Ultra Blast Toothy Tabs, which I love and I'm obsessed with. The Sparkle Toothy, no, this was Tooth Powder. What am I even saying? Sparkle Toothy Tabs, again, love it. Need them a dream cream to help keep the sleepy from running out as fast as it is right now. And then I was almost out of aroma water. That's not the fun stuff. The fun stuff is yet to come. Ah! I bought a lot of things from this collection. First being this little beautiful bath bomb and it's raspberry scented. I don't know if they had this last year. I honestly don't remember, but it's a little Cupid's heart or like a Cupid's bow. I don't have a bathtub, but my parents have a bathtub and I'm going to my parents this weekend to watch their dog. Another bath thing I bought is the Crow's Bombshell, which I guess they came out with for Valentine's Day this year. Usually it's just a Mother's Day product, so it smells like rose jam. So who doesn't love that? Apparently there's rose petals in it. It used to look totally different. I like it this way too. I didn't buy any of the bubble bars, but I generally don't like the bubble bars as much as the bath bombs, but that's just me. I did, however, buy one of the bath melts, and this one Smells so perfumey. There's like jasmine and rose. It smells like a sexy lady. And it's like two hearts. Is that what it's called? I don't know if it's called two hearts, but it's pretty and it's melty. When I was walking through the store and the girls working there were like showing me all the new things. They were like, all these other things are like romantic and, and beautiful. And then they described the scent of this one. Like this is the scent of like when you're about to fuck, like, you know? <laughs> when you're like, mmm, mmm, like when you're starting to feel it, you know? Yep. But then I also bought myself just one of the gift boxes. Because why the fuck not? Um, so this is the Loving Kisses uh, gift set that I started opening before I even like told you what's in here. But one of the products, the standalone products was sold out by the time I got to a Lush store and I was like, I really wanted it. So I'll just buy it in a fucking gift box. Even though like everything else in this box I already have. I can't like, seriously, I have two bottles of Prince Charming shower gel, one from last year and then one from the year before. They tie up these boxes so good that I can't even get them off. Mm. There we go. So it's this pretty little rose wrapping and I'm just gonna rip it open because I don't give a fuck. This one was lovingly packed by Sophia's team. Thanks, Sophia. You're a badass. Love and kiss us. This cute little card comes in it. And it's got a nice little thing about like ethical buying and stuff and stuff. Cool. So the first thing that's actually in this box is the little tiny guy of the Prince Charming shower cream that again, this is now the third bottle I have of this, but luckily it's one of my favorite Lush scents, so I'm not complaining. Do you guys want me to do like a favorite Lush scents video? Not like a perfumes, but like scents of products and like bath bombs and stuff and soaps. Would that be a thing that you guys would want me to do? Cause I was thinking about that the other day and I was like, that's not a bad idea for a video because like Lush fragrances go all the across the board, not just like strictly in perfumes. And I know my Lush fragrances. Um, and then uh, the Kiss Lip Scrub, which I also have some from two years ago, so don't judge me. Self-preserving and vegan, motherfuckers. And I think this is also self-preserving and vegan, too. A soap. This is the Two Hearts, what's it called? Love You, Love You Lots is what this soap is called. And this one has rose, rose, coconut oil, Ooh, it's just, it smells like the Rosy Cheeks face mask. Mm. Look at how cute it is. Yeah, it smells real good. Bag is compostable and it's plastic. What? And then the last thing, 
uh, is why I completely bought this this gift box. There, I had no other reason to buy this gift box than for this thing. And this is the Love Spell massage bar. Oh god, it just fell right out of the bag. Oh my god. Rose hip, aloe vera, carnation, neroli, lemon myrtle. Ooh, that's good shit right there. Cocoa butter, shea butter, jojoba. Sugar is in here? Ooh, I want this in a perfume. This is awesome. Ooh, thank you, Lush. Thank you for coming up with like badass Valentine's Day stuff. The Valentine's Day massage bars are always the best ones. But tender as the night was Valentine's Day and I, this is melting in my hand already because it's a massage bar. Oh God, okay. And now my hands smell and feel fabulous. Mm. Ooh, I'm excited. I am so excited. Valentine's Day and Halloween, I think are my favorite limited edition stuff. I like the Mother's Day stuff. I've never liked it as much as the Valentine's Day. And I like Christmas things, but the Halloween stuff is better. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products yet and what might be your favorite. And if you're curious about the fragrances of any of these things, Lush does list all of the ingredients in products on their website if you do want to check there. If you aren't sure if you're like allergic to something, I'm excited, Lush things. For today's song of the day, it is Quiet by this artist called Milk. I think that's how to say it, I don't remember. She put together this little group of women that they practiced this song online for I think like a week or so before the Women's March and then they performed it at the LA March and the video has gone viral and Samantha B invited them to play and sing the song, well actually just sing it acapella on her show last week and it is such a beautiful song. It is such a nice anthem and she's badass like I really like her she's really cool and uh, she's got a really neat voice quiet by milk is your song of the day I'm gonna go put this away and then go to bed because it's like 1230 in the morning and I have to be to work in seven and a half hours make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click that like button click the little like a uh, bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload videos because the subscription box doesn't work for shit lately. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.